Hi, this is Gabe, product manager at R3. I'm joined by Ante today from the engineering team to take you through a feature from our network manager around the support for pluggable signing service. The objectives of the video are a brief introduction on Corda's PKI requirements, how does our software currently handle network keys and certificates, go through the use cases we had in mind when building this feature, and then pass it over to Antit for a technical walkthrough on the feature itself, its configuration, how to build a plugin, and then a quick demo to show it in action. All right, so a typical certificate hierarchy in a, in a new Corda network looks something like this. You have your offline route, a subordinate, which are usually kept securely offline, and underneath you have two operational network keys and certificates. The dormant certificate authority, which issues node certificates, and the network map certificate, which deals with the network map signing tasks. Corda requires a structure that you see below the subordinate to operate uh, the identity service and network map service for a permission network. It also requires a certificate extension for all of those network and node certificates, and it's used by Corda to identify the role of the certificate. The second uh, thing Corda requires is a name constraint, which is something the dormant CA would put on the node CA issued, which allows essentially the guarantee that any cell certificates underneath are carrying the same name as the one issued by the dormant. Now, when it comes to the software to manage this, you typically see uh, the operational network keys being kept securely in an HSM and accessed through our signing service, which is uh, the service that, that interfaces the identity manager and the network map. And all of those services, perhaps with the exception of the uh, registration authority workflow, would all be managed by the network operator. But in some cases, the certificate of hierarchy does not look like the one I just showed you. And the distinction of roles on who manages what does not match the typical use case I just walked you through. And this is really the precursor of, of um, the feature we're talking about today. Let's imagine an organization that has an existing route and perhaps a different team or software that manages already the certificates uh, inside the company, or a third party provider that offer a CA as a service. So in that scenario, what you want to do is to delegate the safekeeping and ongoing management of the network certificates and keys, and only interface with it when signing tasks occur, so when you need them as part of the ongoing management of the network. And this is the principle behind this feature. As you can see in this deployment, as opposed to the previous one, you will be able to configure an optional service that we call signable material retriever, which together with a plugin, it allows you to deal with signing tasks occurring in your network and then delegate the signing and issuance to a software, third party provider, or even a process of your choice. Now with the context set, let me hand it over to Ante to take you through in more details on how this feature works and a demo of it. Thank you, Gabe, for this nice introduction. Let's now jump straightly into external signing infrastructure support for Cinnamon. First of all, you need to set up the new service that you are exposing, which is called Signable Material Retriever, or shortly SMR. This service is responsible for fetching the signable material and passing it via plugin onto external signing infrastructures. This service is relatively easy to set up since it has only two configuration fields. First of them are service locations, so those are remote locations from which we want to fetch the signable material. And after that we need to specify actual material management task treats, which are first of all the type of the material we want to fetch, so those can be CSR, CRL, network map or network parameters. Then on we specify the remote location from which we want to fetch that material. We also specify the schedule, so how often we want SMR to pull for that material in context of that material management task. And we specify the plugins path to the jar and name of the class from which plugin methods will be invoked to pass signable material to external signing infrastructures. In this presentation, we will showcase you 
usage of EJBCA external signing infrastructure, which is a really nice open source CA solution. Here you can see the sample of nice user interface which EJBCA provides to the CA administrator. Let's now jump straightly into demo of EJBCA solution. Here you can see the whole page of uh, EJBCA's web administration tool in which first you can see that we successfully uploaded the certificate chain which needs to be used for signing identity manager related material or CSR and CRLs more specifically. Here we can see that first we have root certificate, it's subordinate and specific identity manager support subordinate needed to sign CSRs and CRLs. We also have see, can see that we have details about the latest CRL that is hosted on our EJBCA instance. We can also query for all certificates that we have generated so far on our EJBCA instance. Right now we cannot see certificates for nodes A and node B. This presentation agenda is to successfully generate them via EJBCA tool. Let's now see the concrete example of setting up the signable material retriever service. Let's first look into actual configuration of SMR that we are going to use. First thing you can see is that we have a two service locations specified. First one is for identity manager fetching data, so basically CSRs. And the second one is for evocation related data, those will be CRLs and CRRs. After that you can see material management task specification. We have also two material management tasks. First one is related to certificate signing request fetching. Here we spe specify correct type. The location is obviously identity manager one that is specified before. We see that SMR will try to fetch material every 10 seconds and we specify plugin jar path and plugin class from which methods will be invocated. We will see that class shortly. The same thing is done also for CRL for fetching revocation related materials. Let's now look into actual plugins implementation which connects SMR and external signing infrastructure which is meant to sign the material fetch by SMR. Each plugin needs to implement following methods. First of them is a start method which basically bootstraps the whole plugin. And it can opt to choose between two interfaces to implement, which are CA or non-CA sign-in plugin. Here we obviously choose CA signing plugin which because we need to sign CSRs and CRLs. We need to implement following two methods. Submit CSR in which plugin gets the new certificate signing request from the SMR and sends them to external signing infra infrastructure, retrieves it and sends it back to the SMR which will send it back to identity manager and similar method for CRL handling. Let's take a quick peek into concrete implementation for EJBCA instance. First we see a lot of boilerplate code in start method which is needed to initiate correct connection to web endpoints exposed by EJBCA. After that we have a submit CSR method in which we fetch certificate signing requests from SMR we fill certificate data needed to be passed to EJBCA APIs. Here we call certificate request method in which we pass certificate signing request to EJBCA, which will then on generate the certificate chain. We fetch the certificate chain via get last cert chain method. And in the end, 
we fill the DTO specified by SMR, which needs then to pass it to Identity Manager. Similar thing is done for uh, certificate revocation lists. We get the current certificate revocation list. We get new approved certificate revocation requests. We first revoke each certificate via revoke certificate EJBCA endpoint. After that, we can generate new CRL with uh, those new revoked requests. And at the end, we fetch the latest CRL generated by EJBCA and also send it via DTO defined by uh, SMR and then on SMR will pass it to Identity Manager to be stored into a database. For more details about implementation of the SMR plugins and the DTOs which need to be filled to be passed from plugin to the SMR, please see related Cinnamon doc sites. Now we are ready to spin up Signable Material Retriever and perform signing via EJBCA infrastructure. Okay, we spin up SMR similarly to other Cinnamon services. Okay. We see here first that EJBCA plugin has successfully bootstrapped and that SMR hence has also successfully bootstrapped. Let's now start the uh, certificate signing requests, aka initial registration for node A and node B. This is the common process in Corda. Okay, we see here that node B and node A are pending for certificate sign requests. We can see also here that our uh, EJBCA plugin has picked those certificate requests for party A and party B. It sent them to EJBC infrastructure and retrieved the certificate chain for both of them and sent them back to identity manager. Let's now go back into node A and node B and see if they successfully pulled for their new certificates. We can see that they indeed have successfully pulled those new certificates. And if we look into certificates folder, we can see that they generated their needed node, SSL and trust store in order to properly function. We can also start core down them and see that it will bootstrap correctly. We can also see that uh, each 30 seconds a specified material management task, our SMR will fetch the CRL, pass it to plugin, and then EJBCA will refresh it accordingly. Let's go back into EJBCA and see actual results there in nice admin GUI. Let's refresh. Here we can see that two new parties have popped up, two new certificates. First one is for no day. Second one is for party B. We can see more details in here. These are the details about an entity that was created in EJBCA. And here we can see the certificate details for no day. Similar thing we can see for node B. Before we end, let's also see the details about the newly created CRL. Here we can see the uploaded time. It has changed and new CRL has been generated. We can also fetch it right here to investigate it more. Before we end, there is some more material. So these are basically SMR setup docs and EJBCA sample plugin setup docs which are part of the Cinnamon doc site and also EJBCA official site. Thank you for your time and I hope this will help you with your own external signing infrastructure implementation as part of your Cinnamon suite.